Hi there, welcome to this Prospect CRM video on how to set up your email signatures. When sending an email from the CRM, you have the option to choose different pre-configured signatures. Please note you will need CRM admin rights in order to follow the steps in this video. To get started, click on the settings on icon in the bottom left hand corner. And once within the settings center, just search for email signature. Once you've found the configure option, just click to configure. This will then give you a list of all of your current email signatures set up within your system. To add a new one, click on the plus button in the top right hand corner. First of all, you'll need to give your new signature a relevant name and description. These should help explain to other users when this email signature template should be used. For example, if you have an email signature promoting an upcoming event or a promotion, you can add all of those details to these fields to specify when the signature should be used, or more about what products are included in the promotion, for example. For this one, though, we might just be setting up a new default one that people should be using on a day-to-day -day basis. So we might call that default signature. Just below this, we can then start editing our new email signature. So you have a couple of options here. You can either type out your signature and use the rich text options along the top to design your email signature. Or alternatively, if you already have got the HTML from your signature that you're already using, then you can click on the view source button and copy and paste this in here. Once you have set up your email signature within this section here, on the far right hand side, we have a field selector. This is particularly useful if you have information in the email signature that will be unique to the CRM user who uses it. For example, the CRM user's name, job title, maybe their phone number. So all of this information can be pulled through automatically using these field selectors on the far right hand side. For example, we might want to include the user's name, we might also want to include their job title and then also their phone number. So as you can see, it's just added in the search and place field required in order to pull through that unique information. It's also worth noting that if you do want to add images to your email signature, they do need to be hosted. The reason for this is because if you try to insert an image, we will take the URL for where that image is hosted. So that means users don't then have to download the image when they're sending it to your recipients. Once you're happy with your email signature, if you then click create, that will then be added to your email signature drop down list for users to start using. We also strongly recommend that you set a signature as the profile default so users don't have to select the signature every time they want to send a new email via the CRM. Not only will that help save time, but it'll also ensure users are on brand and using the right signatures. You can do that by clicking on the pencil icon for that particular signature that should be the default. And then in here we have a tick box to say whether this should be the profile default or not. <laughs> 